This thing happened about a few months ago when I was told to cover an assignment. So I went to prepare the equipment for the job and I found that some of the equipment were missing. So I went around asking and found out that one of my colleagues was who wanted to wait for some of his projects. So I just went ahead and I asked him instead. So we were quite close then and did some projects together and uh, we pretty much handled quite a lot of things. So I just dropped in a message and, and asked him about it. He replied that uh, yeah, he was fine returning it. So I guess everything was okay then. So sometime later during one of our usual breakfast meetings, me and a few other colleagues, we were chatting about some office matters and I just casually brought up that uh, I found out who was holding on to the equipment. So the kind of reaction that I got from the rest of them was like, huh? Again? Uh, that was a little bit surprising because um, I don't really know what happened. So, uh, so, so I, I, I asked them what, what was it all about? And um, some, quite some time later, another job came in and I was told to cover the job again. So I started packing again, found the very same kind of equipment um, missing. So um, during that period of time, I think everyone was quite busy So because there were some um, major events going on. It was a peak period around that, era, uh, around that period of time. I didn't went asking because it was quite urgent and uh, everyone was all over the place, so I I sent an email instead to the rest, to all the people, um, asking them on who who is holding on to the equipment. Basically, I just wrote that whoever is holding on to the equipment, please return it as soon as possible because uh, I'm needing it for a shoot which happens two days later, and and uh, please return as soon as possible and try not to hold, hold on to it for too long for own use. I think the colleague. He replied that he was holding on to it and and he will return it to the next day. But what follows after them is really quite disturbing because he started messaging me and telling me that um, I should not have sent that email and I should have just approached him instead because I should know that he is the one who is uh, holding on to the equipment. But me being, I'm, I'm trying to be as general as possible and, and not trying to pinpoint whoever is holding on to it. So I just wrote that email instead, which happened to uh, have my boss in the CC. That text conversation went on quite a while and the exchange was quite quite uh, drastic and was uh, quite, it really gotten quite personal and, and it's holding to a stage where I really can't, I, I can't really hold it back anymore. So I started being aggressive and, and, and bringing some some issues back into the conversations, uh, issues which I think I really don't want to bring up. So I, I, I think that really got into him and uh, it was so, so he was so mad that he just uh, got into rage and rushed back all the way from the event setup uh, because at the point of time, uh, the almost the entire team is out setting up for the major event. So he rushed back and, and, and started confronting me. He just Oh, he just barged into the room and started confront, uh, started the confrontations. So I, being someone who doesn't really like confrontations, I, because I said something like things like he should have known, um, whatever he said about me. So, uh, it doesn't really matter whether he, uh, he wants to know whatever I said. So, with that, I just told him that uh, you should know what you have said, and I have nothing more to talk to you. Uh, he he was quite uh, stumped for that moment, so he took it and he just stormed out of the room somehow and, and uh, about a couple of seconds later, then he started to use some vulgarities on me. I mean, not really on me, but he just started swearing, so kind of, kind of yeah. Um, but I think at a point of time, I realized that the friendship was over. And I do remember that during one of our breakfast meetings, I, I, I did mention that if I really want to stir, stir this kind of shit up, which means the friendship is going to be over. So I kind of expected that. Um, we are still colleagues now, but 
uh, we don't work together anymore especially on our own personal projects and um, the only things that we really talk about is just uh, office matters or, 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 or project based uh, some, some of those uh, project issues which we happen to, to encounter but I feel that this whole saga or this whole issue could have been managed better because I think everyone was quite angry and, and everyone was quite uh, in some form of ang- in some form of anger, so it can't be helped anyway. But when I when I look back at those conversations that we have or we had back then, I actually had a good laugh out of it because it's a really very small matter and um, it was kind of like bro- blown out of proportions simply because I can't find something and. I just didn't want to just follow up and and just uh, ask, just go along with my assumptions and and just look for him. But what's over is over. So the only thing that you can do now is just keep moving on.